Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Saleh again and today I would like to show you how we can utilize Power Automate to import multiple photos into a Dataverse table in a photo type column. We have this table here which is patient information table where I have a column called patient photo where I can import each photo for each patient. So I have this column as a photo type column and it's my primary photo column for each of my records in this Dataverse table. As you can see here, I will go and check to see the properties. You can see it's a primary image uh, and it's image data type. Uh, I have multiple columns that are important in this table as well. Uh, one of them is going to be my clinic ID. It's something that I use for relationship with other table as well as the patient ID. So for each patient, we have an ID for that patient, as you can see here. And this is going to be a very important column that we will use in our Power Automate to import these photos. So the value here, as you can see, is the patient ID for each one of them. And as you can see now, we have a blank photo for each of our patients. So if we go ahead and check the record, you can see that Janet has still the default image, as you can see in her profile. And this is the primary uh, image or primary photo. That's because of our column. And what we will uh, like to do is I have uploaded all these images for each of the patients in a OneDrive folder. In this folder, I call this folder patients photos. As you can see, I have renamed these images or these photos to the patient ID. So each image, as you can see, it's actually has the patient ID. So patient ID one, this is the image of patient ID one, patient ID nine, the image of patient ID nine, as you can see, the name of the image is basically reflecting the patient ID. And this is very important, again, in relation to this column here in our Dataverse table. So let's go ahead and start creating our Power Automate flow to import all these photos to their uh, uh, respective uh, record in the Dataverse uh, table. So I will start by creating an instant Cloudflow because this is gonna be one-time action uh, to just import these photos. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead, call this flow, update patients photos. And as we said, it's gonna be a manually triggered flow. And in, in once we get to the flow portal here, we're gonna create our first step. So our first step is going to be that we would like to initialize a variable. It's a text type variable. And this is very important because we would like to hold that patient ID for us that we're going to use it later in the flow as well. So it's going to be, we call this uh, patient var patient ID. The type of this variable is going to be a string type. And then the next step, is going to be that we would like to list all the patients that we have in the Dataverse table. So in this, we are using list rows from the Dataverse, uh, and then we will get our patient uh, information table. Here, uh, the only thing I would like to do is just uh, row count 5,000. I have obviously less than 5,000 now. And then for the next step after that, we would like to list also all these files images that we have in the OneDrive folder. So I'm going to go ahead and use the list files in folder action. And then I have to select that folder where I have all the patient's photos. So I'm going to scroll down to find my folder. It's the patient photos, as you can see here. And this is my folder. This is going to be the path for that folder. As you can see here, this folder contain all the photos that we have. Uh, the next step that we will do in this flow, it will be that we will set the variable value. So basically that we would like to capture the value of the patient ID. So I'm going to use the set variable action. In this, I will select my variable and then I will enter dynamically the value. And this value is going to be coming from my Dataverse table, the patient information, which is the patient ID. Scrolling down, I will find my patient ID, as you can see here. So I will select that. And once I select that, as you can see, it will actually create a for each because again, list rows bring back an array. So that's mean we're going to have to loop 
through each record in my patient information and capture that patient ID. The next step is going to be is we're going to use the filter array action. This filter array action, it will use the list files in folders. So that's also an array because it will bring multiple files in that folder. So when we're talking about files in a folder in OneDrive, there is a very important property, including the name of the file. But what we need to do is we would like to get the name without extension. So that's why the naming of the photos was very important because I know that each image has the name, which is the patient ID. And then obviously it's going to be equal to our patient ID variable. That's what we have so far. So this is amazing. So now let's go ahead and save and test and see if we can capture all these files now coming from folder and we can also filter them based on the value of the record of the patient which is the the value of the patient id so i'm gonna go ahead and run the flow it has completed and it's running now so as you can see in the apply each so we can have like as you can see here this is our first variable our first record is number value id or patient id is four we actually went to the array of the files in OneDrive folder and you can see the output is the photo number four as you can see here so so far that's mean it's working for us perfect now we're gonna go ahead and start our next step once we verify that you can also verify by going to multiple you know records within that loop so the next step that we will have after the filter array is going to be the action that called uh, we're going to use is get file content so we would like to get the content now of that image right so we're going to use the uh, get file content now what is the id of the file remember that so far what we have is in the filter id so the, the output of the filter is going to include in the filter array is going to include the id of that file file basically so we are selecting that id from the filter array which is the previous step before this git file content step obviously created and applied to uh, loop because again filter array output is array so it's acted like you know a table now let's go ahead and test so far and see if we can get the file content of uh, the uh, the patient id that we are looping uh, uh, you know, through the list rows from the patient information table. So it's running. Now let's go ahead and check our apply to each. So we have apply to each. So it run. And again, it's one record. I would say we have patient ID number four and the patient ID number four. This should be obviously the image, basically content of that patient, which is patient ID number four this is so far so good so we are ready to go ahead and start our next action after this so let's go ahead and check out one more thing that i have here the again the patient id number four i have the image and now i'm ready for the next part which is in this case is going to be using the update row so we would like to update that row we are lobing in now the current record in the dataverse table we would like to update the photo column value of that record so we're gonna again use the update row action for dataverse we're gonna select uh, the table name the row id is going to be the unique identifier column from the action which is list row right so we are now in that level of that record so if you go to the list rows which is the dataverse table and you go to the GUID or the unique identifier column that's what you need to select as your row id in the update row action in the advanced option we're not going to do anything else in the advanced option all what we need to do is the patient photo right and here in this patient photo we're going to go ahead to expression and what we need to use we're going to use the output body of the get file content action so i'm going to just type down 
output select basically the outputs of the git file content and you can see here we have the body but what we need to do we need to actually use this expression so you're gonna open a square brackets single quotes and then you will use dollar sign content because you don't want basically the full array that as as an image you only want the content of the output of the git file right you will have the file type and you will have the content in the git file i only need the content that i can use for the photo type column as you can see here we have it still blank we're going to go back to our flow and then now let's go ahead and try to run it and see if we can get all these images that to be aligned with the patients in our dataverse table column and it just completed successfully so if i go to apply to each i open my git file content i see this is my file content as you can see there and in my body of the update row action if i go and look up for the photo column and this is going to be the photo content uh, that i'm looking for here so i'm going to try to find it scroll down as you can see here now i can see it it's the patient photo as you can see and this is basically the content photo that came out of from my git file content uh, in the previous action as you can see right here so now let's go to our table and hit refresh and what you see here now we have all the patient photos has been imported and aligned to each uh, patient based on the patient id right so let's check for example janet and we can see here as you can see the primary photo of this patient now is for janet this is the photo and her patient id is one if i go there this is as you can see patient id number one and let's try another uh, patient as well so let's go to james and this is basically going to open the record in a form so we have james right here this is james patient id number five and if i go to my uh, images uh, and this is James as you can see right here.